is it me yes y'all what's up you guys welcome back to the channel i am here with a makeup tutorial holy guacamole <laughs> i haven't filmed an actual tutorial in like three weeks in a sense so yeah so i've been in this little funk you already see my little vlog clip um that was recently uploaded if you guys have not checked it out check it out so you guys will know what's going on and why i'm in my a but yes i am slowly trying to get my mojo back because it's just been a little wacky <laughs> and i keep making up all these excuses like oh i don't feel like doing colorful makeup today i don't feel like doing this kind of makeup today so then i was like well just sit down in the chair and just do something and whatever you do just do it so that's pretty much what this tutorial <laughs> came out to be i wasn't in the mood to do any type of makeup but i like what i did and i like the look she's cute okay and i'm trying out a new palette that i got last year y'all know i'm on this little trying to you know use all my palettes in my collection by the end of this year type of thing that i'm trying to do whether it's old new whatever so this is kind of old but it's new to me because i haven't tried it but i bought it um, last year when this collection had dropped so this is the makeup revolution and coco pebbles collection so i did try out this palette for my eyes and then i am going to be using one of the lip products that came in this collection i think i have all three of them but this was like the only one i could find which was fine because it went perfect with today's look and i will say honey these are pigmented i was not expecting for it to be such a what's the word a vibrant color like i was expecting more of a sheer which is it kind of still is but i have really high like pigmentation when it comes to my lips so being that this gloss cover that up this is like truly like pigmented so i am definitely going to be on the hunt to find the rest of these because these are really pigmented and they smell like chocolate like cocoa pebbles like for real like I can still smell it so mm, good 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 <laughs> so if you guys are here for this cocoa pebbles delicious delight then go ahead and keep on watching don't forget to thumbs up this video if you guys want to see more makeup tutorials from yours truly um but other than that y'all sit back relax and enjoy the tutorial i'm back <laughs> kind of <laughs> all right you guys so i'm going to jump right into this makeup look I'm going to start off with a primer and I'm going in with my e.l.f. eyelid primer. I'm just going to take that and apply that all over my eyelids. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with my Juvia Eye Prep Eye Prime Base. This is in the shade number 2. And y'all, this is my Holy Grail favorite eyeshadow base primer. Like, if you want your eyeshadows to be intense, stay on all day, no creasing, no fade away with the color, this is your go-to product. This is my second re-up on this product, and I don't think I'll ever replace it. So, once I have this all over my eyelid, I like to go in with a brush, and just to clean it up and make it a lot more smoother, because if you don't, honey, whatever creases in line that's on this base, it will show up underneath or on top of your eyeshadow so just be careful and make sure you blend everything out and then right here i like to take this eyeshadow and set underneath my brow bone and i like to go in with a color that's close to the concealer that i'm using and it just sets that highlighted area so i'm just going to apply that to both sides and i'll make sure i have the eyeshadow name down at the bottom just in case you guys are interested and want to try it out so now i'm going to go in with this palette the first shade I'm going in with is this beautiful soft brown and I was really pleased with this palette honestly when I first seen it in person and trying it out for the look I was like okay I don't think these are going to be that pigmented and I think that's why I lean towards more of the neutral eyeshadows but believe it or not these eyeshadows are again beautiful of course coming from Makeup Revolution I should expect that I just assumed on what I seen <laughs> but the formula of the eyeshadows, the blendable, is just, it was just amazing. But anywho, I'm just going to take this eyeshadow and I'm going to apply this right in my crease. And I'm making sure that I blend up, up to my brow bone highlight. All 
right, so now I'm going to set and wet my brush with a e.l.f. mist spray. And now I'm going in with this shimmery champagne color. And I'm going to simply just apply that all over the eyelid. It wasn't as shimmery as it was inside the eyeshadow pen, but you can still tell the difference on the eyes that it was a different texture. So it doesn't come off matte. It does have a little bit of a shimmery gloss to it, which was the ideal of what I was going for. So I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid and making sure that I have it blended correctly because this eyeshadow color can come off patchy if not applied correctly. Alright, so going back in with that palette, I'm going to be taking the deepest brown now. And I'm just going to intensify the outer part of my crease just to give it a little bit more of definition. To be honest, it didn't really make a difference. I feel like the browns were pretty close, but it made a tiny bit of a difference. I felt like the browns were very close to the same shade, but anywho, just applying that into the outer part. And y'all can see the blending on this eyelid. Like, y'all can see, like, this no Photoshop, like, the airbrush looking effect. It's, it's, it's real. <laughs> so now I'm just going to go ahead and wing my eyeliner. And then for the rest of my face, I did apply that off camera. So I will make sure I have everything listed on what I used on my face. So now moving on to the bottom part of my lash line. I'm just going back in with that Juvia. And I'm going to apply that on the lash line. So that way the eyeshadow that I put will have the same intensity and of course the longevity of being on the eyes forever. All right, and now I am going in with a glitter glue. I'm just gonna pop this right in my inner tear duct. And I like to do this method because it really intensify any type of eyeshadow that I do apply in my inner. And this is the same formula that I have on my eyelid, but you can see by me using this glitter, it definitely brings out more of that shimmer um, formula when it comes to this eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna pop that right in the inner tear duct and I pop some lashes off camera boom there you go boo looking good okay so i decided i wanted to go in and try one of the lip products from this collection and this was the only one i could find and i have i believe all three of them so i have to find the rest and y'all this lip product smell so freaking good oh my gosh but i was thrown off and cut off guard with the pigmentation i thought it was going to be more of a sheerer like coverage on my lips so seeing this I was like oh okay I can deal with this so I also decided to go in with a lip pencil just to define and give my lips a little bit more of a definition because I do feel like this color is very close to my complexion so I want to kind of like even it out and give my lips more of a definition so it won't blend and just look like blah blah <laughs> so once I go in with this lip liner you guys will see the amazing amazingness in this look and like I said I will have everything listed down at the bottom down to primer moisturizer foundation um, I think the only thing I probably won't have listed is these lashes because I don't know what lashes these are y'all I do apologize but I do hope you guys enjoyed today's look